Distinguished guests, principals, parents, officers, cadet inspectors, cadets, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second edition of the virtual National Police Cadet Corps Annual Parade 2022. I'm Cadet Inspector NPCC Tang Tia Han from Nian Secondary School. And I am Probationary Inspector NPCC Wei Ni Shen from Clementi Town Secondary School. We will be your MCs for this parade. Every year, our annual parade is held in commemoration of NPCC Day and seeks to recognize the contributions of the MPCC youth movement. It also aims to instill loyalty in the cadets and strengthen their dedication to the core. Last year, we held our inaugural virtual parade successfully. In view of the safe management measures, this year's parade will take place virtually as well. This year's parade features a combination of involvements in the Home Team Academy as well as in the units. The flag party, Guard of Honor contingent, and two supporting contingents are formed up and pre-recorded in the Home Team Academy, while the remaining supporting contingents are formed up and pre-recorded in their respective units. These supporting contingents consist of cadets from various school units. The theme for this year's parade is redefining our roles, reshaping our core. The reviewing officer for this year's parade is Mr. Daryl David. Member of Parliament for Angmo Kyo GRC and Deputy Chairperson, Government Parliamentary Committee for Education. During the parade, you'll be requested to rise and don your headdress during the recitation of the MPCC pledge and when the national anthem is being played. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our parade commander. Our parade commander for this year's MPCC annual parade is Honorary Inspector MPCC. Brendan Lee Bo Eun from Danyan Secondary School. Honorary Inspector MPCC Brendan was a former cadet of Danyan Secondary School. He served as a cadet inspector at his alma mater and was promoted to the rank of Senior Cadet Inspector in 2016. Brendan continues to serve the Corps as an honorary officer and plays an active role in training prospective honorary officers. The supporting contingents shown on the screen now were formed in the school units. Coming up, we will have our two supporting contingents which were formed at the Home Team Academy. We have cadets from Dunyan Secondary School, led by Station Inspector MPCC Gya Banka Nape Castillo. On the right, we have cadets from Mary Stella High School, led by Corporal MPCC Lee Yutie Christian. These two supporting contingents are marching to the place titled Elmo March, arranged by James Rangman, and played by our MPCC band from Asian Town Secondary School in Orchestra. Next, we will have the flag party and the guard of honor contingent marching in.
this year, our flag party and guard of honor contingent are formed by our honorary officers and cadet inspectors who have proudly donned the guard of honor badge. This badge features a ceremonial sword, two dolls, and the colors gold, purple, and maroon. These three colors epitomize the qualities which the guard of honor upholds, being self disciplined highly trained, and well respected. The ceremonial flags consist of the state flag, the Ministry of Education flag, the Singapore Police Force flag, and the NPCC flag. Bearing the state flag is Cadet Inspector NPCC Asher Ang Yi Han from Anglo Chinese School Independent. The Ministry of Education flag bearer is Cadet Inspector NPCC Jamie Lee Jia Min from Jurong Bill Secondary School. Bearing the Singapore Police Force flag is Cadet Inspector NPCC Zheng Zhi from Hua Chong Institution. The NPCC flag bearer is Cadet Inspector NPCC Lin Weixiang and Darren from Dunyan Secondary School. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome our reviewing officer for this year's parade, Mr. Daryl David, Member of Parliament for Angmo Kyo GRC and Deputy Chairperson, Government Parliamentary Committee for Education. Good afternoon, sir. The parade is formed up and ready. Permission to carry on, sir. Thank you, sir. It is now my honour to invite our reviewing officer, Mr. Daryl David, to deliver his address. Sir, please. Mr. Hong Wee-Tech, Commissioner of Police, 
Associate Professor Stephen Poir, Chairman, Home Team Core Council, Council members, school leaders, ladies and gentlemen. A very good afternoon to all of you. I'm delighted to join you as we celebrate the 63rd anniversary of the National Police Cadet Corps, NPCC, virtually via Zoom webinar. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought about uncertainties and challenges in conducting key NPCC activities. Nevertheless, it is heartwarming to learn that NPCC remained resilient, adapted well to the changes, and is striving in the new normal. This year's theme, redefining our roles, reshaping our core, is indeed a fitting one. Current circumstances have obliged us to pause, reflect on our current practices, and explore how we can improve our programs and processes for the betterment of our core. This enables us to innovate and refresh the NPCC curriculum to better engage cadets without compromising on well-being and learning outcomes. NPCC HQ continues to work closely with the NPCC units in forging a united front to value add to the learning, development and experience of our NPCC cadets. We hope to enhance cadets' learning experience and develop in our cadets the objectives of resilience, social-emotional well-being, future readiness and active citizenry. To strengthen officers' capability to deliver and facilitate quality UG experiences for the cadets, NPCC HU has adopted a blended training program comprising virtual lessons and hands-on practical. Officer in charge of Bedok Green Secondary School NPCC Unit, Assistant Superintendent of Police NPCC, Frankie Liao, shared that with the curated materials in the NPCC Cadet Home-Based Learning Hub prepared by NPCC HQ, teacher officers can better lead the discussion with their volunteers and cadet leaders when planning for training sessions. This led to greater interactivity among the different cadets, which made learning and sharing richer. NPCC HQ continues to seize opportunities to redesign its curriculum and pedagogical approaches. One such example is the Enhanced Crime Scene Investigation CSI, online learning package. Using a game-based approach, cadets were able to assume the role of a forensic investigator and apply their skills to solve virtual crime scenarios. This culminated in the inaugural NPCC Interunit eCSI competition in February 2022, which brought cadets from the various NPCC units virtually together to solve a fictional crime case. Much positive feedback was received. Cadets from Nian Secondary School mentioned that the competition allowed them to hone their critical thinking skills and learn about CSI in a fun and interactive manner. Cadets from Raffles Institution found that the competition allowed them to train their logic, critical and creative thinking skills. People are valued assets in an organisation. This is especially true for NPCC, which is heavily dependent on teacher officers and volunteers. They often go the extra mile, sacrificing personal time to deliver the best possible CCA experience for the cadets. Our teacher officers and volunteers play a crucial role in developing our cadets holistically. To recognise Home Team Corps officers and volunteers who have made significant contributions to the Corps, 58 NPCC officers and volunteers received the inaugural Home Team Corps Awards introduced in 2021. One such awardee is Honorary Inspector of Police, NPCC, Lim Hyang Ming Jo from Pierce Secondary School. Jo has been actively involved in the NPCC media team, which provides technical and media support for NPCC events. Joe expressed his gratitude to his fellow unit and area officers for their guidance throughout his 13 years volunteering with the Corps. He hopes to inspire more volunteers to upskill themselves and design innovative UG programs to enrich our cadets' UG experience. Congratulations to all award recipients. To better support teacher officers, NPCC HQ rolled out the Area Volunteer Management Committee this year. Led by the Assistant Commandants, this committee will provide opportunities for volunteers to develop their leadership skills beyond the unit level as well as promote their well-being. As NPCC strives towards greater heights, it is important to empower our members. One way is by facilitating the co-creation of resources from the grounds up. 
In 2021, a video-making competition was held to promote cadet empowerment in developing resources for teaching. Cadets have shown great resourcefulness and created informative videos. One notable example is Tanjong Katong Girls' School's idea to mimic the feu de joie or fire of joy using poppers attached to the dummy rifles to add some realism to parades. Many positive outcomes were observed throughout the competition, such as cadets taking ownership of learning and content creation, increase in cadets' interest and motivation, as well as development of soft skills like presentation and teamwork. In closing, I would like to thank the members of the Singapore Police Force, Ministry of Education, council members, school leaders, teacher officers and volunteers who have all played key roles in growing NPCC in its mission to develop our youth in Singapore over the past 63 years. To parents and family members of our cadets, thank you for your unwavering support of our cadets in the NPCC journey and for placing your trust in us to help develop your child into active citizens and community leaders. To all cadets, you are the future of Singapore. I would like to encourage you to take on the responsibility to help NPCC grow from strength to strength, cherish every learning opportunity and collectively, let's contribute to building a safe and cohesive Singapore for all. Thank you and have a great day ahead. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to another significant part of our programme, the presentation of the Unit Overall Proficiency Award for Assessment Year 2021. Last year was certainly a challenging year as many disruptions occurred due to the evolving COVID-19 pandemic. Nevertheless, our MPCC units remained resilient and adapted their plans based on the safe management measures. Their efforts paid off as we have achieved a record high of 126 units clinching the Goal Award. The Goal Award recipients of the 2021 Unit Overall Proficiency Award will be presented with their awards this afternoon. It is my pleasure to once again invite our reviewing officer to present the awards to the respective Area Assistant Commandants. In no order of merit, the Goal Award recipients from Area 1 are Christchurch Secondary School, Marceling Secondary School, Woodgrove Secondary School, Woodlands Ring Secondary School, and Woodlands Secondary School. Representing Area 1, we have Deputy Superintendent of Police, MPCC, Tan Chiu Ming, Vivian. The Gold Ward recipients from Area 2 are Chongqing High School, Ishun, Naval Bay Secondary School, Northbrook Secondary School, Northland Secondary School, Orchid Park Secondary School, Ishun Secondary School and Ishin Town Secondary School. Representing Area 2, we have Deputy Superintendent of Police and PCC, Lee Man Sun Jin. The Goal Award recipients from Area 3 are Anderson Secondary School, Ang Mo Kyo Secondary School, CHIJ St. Nicholas Girls School, De Yi Secondary School, Mayflower Secondary School and Yo Chu Kang Secondary School. Representing Area 3, we have Deputy Superintendent of Police, MPCC, Mohammad Imran bin Mohammad. The Gold Ward recipients from Area 4 are BT Secondary School, Catholic High School, Guangyang Secondary School. Ku Chuan Presbyterian Secondary School, Pierce Secondary School, Raffles Institution and Whitley Secondary School. Representing Area 4, we have Deputy Superintendent of Police and PCC, Go Hock Ming. The Gold Award recipients from Area 5 are Bartley Secondary School, Mary Stella High School, Peitai Secondary School, Paya Lebar Methodist Girls School, St. Gabriel's Secondary School, Yuying Secondary School, and Zhonghua Secondary School. Representing Area 5, we have Honorary Deputy Superintendent of Police, MPCC, Kwek Ming Kiang.
The Gold Award recipients from Area 6 are Bowen Secondary School, Holy Innocence High School, Haogang Secondary School, Monfort Secondary School, North Vista Secondary School, Serangoon Garden Secondary School, Serangoon Secondary School, and Singming Secondary School. Representing Area 6, we have Deputy Superintendent of Police and PCC, Pei Chin Kiong. The Gold Award recipients from Area 7 are CHIJ St. Joseph's Convent, Compassville Secondary School, Edgefield Secondary School, Greendale Secondary School, Nanqiao High School, Peihua Secondary School, Pongo Secondary School, and Sengkang Secondary School. Representing Area 7, we have Deputy Superintendent of Police, MPCC, Ainu Hani Indra Faisal. The Gold Award recipients from Area 8 are Dunman Secondary School, Haising Catholic School, Loyang View Secondary School, Pasiris Crest Secondary School, and Tampanese Secondary School. Representing Area 8, we have Deputy Superintendent of Police and PCC, Lim Kok Sheng. The Gold Award recipients from Area 9 are East Spring Secondary School, Junyuan Secondary School, Nian Secondary School, Pasiri Secondary School, Springfield Secondary School, and St. Hilda's Secondary School. Representing Area 9, we have Deputy Superintendent of Police, MPCC, Ong Chi Fa. The Gold Award recipients from Area 10 are Anglican High School, Badok Green Secondary School, Badok South Secondary School, Badok View Secondary School, Damai Secondary School, Ping Yi Secondary School, and Tamasic Secondary School. Representing Area 10, we have Deputy Superintendent of Police and PCC, Mohammad Asman bin Mohammad Sulaiman. The Gold Award recipients from Area 11 are Bordrick Secondary School, Chongqing High School, Maine, St. Patrick's School, Tanjung Katong Girls School, Tanjung Katong Secondary School, and Victoria School. Representing Area 11, we have Deputy Superintendent of Police, MPCC, Chu Yong Guan. The Gold Award recipients from Area 12 are Bendemia Secondary School, Cedar Girls Secondary School, Daman High School, Geylang Methodist School Secondary, Manjushri Secondary School, and St. Andrews Secondary School. Representing Area 12, we have Deputy Superintendent of Police and PCC, Ho Kok Leong Jerry. The Gold Award recipients from Area 13 are Admiralty Secondary School, Ahmad Ibrahim Secondary School, Canberra Secondary School, Evergreen Secondary School, Riverside Secondary School, and Sembawang Secondary School. Representing Area 13, we have Honorary Deputy Superintendent of Police, MPCC Lim Tek Liang. The Gold Award recipients from Area 14 are Anglo-Chinese School, Bakker Road, CHIJ St. Teresa's Convent, Gan Eng Seng School, Queenstown Secondary School and Queensway Secondary School. Representing Area 14, we have Honorary Deputy Superintendent of Police and PCC, Song Chi Kian. The Gold Award recipients from Area 15 are Hua Chong Institution, Nanyang Girls High School, Raffles Girls School Secondary, St. Joseph's Institution, and St. Margaret's Secondary School. Representing Area 15, we have Acting Assistant Superintendent of Police, MPCC, Kelvin Poe. The Gold Award recipients from Area 16 are 
Anglo Chinese School Independent, Clementi Town Secondary School, Kenwich Secondary School, Nanhua High School, New Town Secondary School, and Tangling Secondary School. Representing Area 16, we have Deputy Superintendent of Police NPCC, Abdul Wahab bin Abdul Rahman. The Gold Award recipients from Area 17 are Boon Lay Secondary School, Jurong Secondary School, Jurong West Secondary School, River Valley High School, Westwood Secondary School, Yuanqing Secondary School, and Yuhua Secondary School. Representing Area 17, we have Honorary Deputy Superintendent of Police, MPCC, Sim Gi Tiam Jeffrey. The Gold Award recipients from Area 18 are Bukit Batok Secondary School, Commonwealth Secondary School, Fuhua Secondary School, Hua Yi Secondary School, and Jurong View Secondary School. Representing Area 18, we have Deputy Superintendent of Police NPCC Lam Seng Tat. The Gold Award recipients from Area 19 are Assumption English School, Dunyan Secondary School, Fajar Secondary School, Greenridge Secondary School, Hillgrove Secondary School, and Swiss Cottage Secondary School. Representing Area 19, we have Deputy Superintendent of Police, MPCC, Ang Chin Chuan. The Gold Ward recipients from Area 20 are Bukit Banjang Government High School, Chachukang Secondary School, Kranji Secondary School, Region Secondary School, Tikwai Secondary School, Unity Secondary School, West Spring Secondary School, and Zhenhua Secondary School. Representing Area 20, we have Deputy Superintendent of Police NPCC Lam Seng Tat. Let us give a big round of applause to all the award recipients. The NPCC Annual Parade is a befitting occasion for officers, cadet inspectors and cadets to rededicate their loyalty to the Corps and the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for this rededication. All NPCC members are required to don your headdresses and join in the recitation of the NPCC Pledge. This year, the NPCC pledge will be led by Acting Deputy Superintendent of Police NPCC, Lee Sing Zan Andrew, Assistant Commandant from NPCC HQ. Nice. 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 We the members of the National Police Cadet Corps do here and now solemnly and sincerely pledge that we will always bear true faith and allegiance to the President and our Republic of Singapore. We will always be loyal and true to our country, our people and the government. We will always be prepared to serve our country and the community. We will always preserve the peace and uphold the law Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the national anthem.
Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now come to the March Pass. Good afternoon, sir. May I have your permission to march off the parade, sir? Thank you, sir. Akan berjalan keluar Berterut-terut Kawalan kompetan dahulu Bergerak ke kanan Ke kanan Ho Sing The contingents will be marching out accompanied by the music title MPCC March. This piece is an anthem to be sung at parades and special functions. Coming right up, let us welcome our very own MPCC band from Ishun Town Wind Orchestra or Y2 for short, which will be performing for us two items. The first song is titled Souza Spectacular.
Wow, Jia Han, wasn't that awesome? It truly was. For the second piece, the band will perform the piece titled Shine Bright. That is a great performance. I agree, Ms. Wee. Did you know, Jahan, Y2 is the only NPCC band in Singapore? Oh, that's interesting. That's why it is such a treat to have Y2 with us for this year's NPAP. Thank you, Y2. Coming right up, we are featuring our Precision Drill Squad, which will be showcasing the execution of drills in our NPCC syllabus in a series of coordinated complex movements. The movements of the participants can be seen to be sharp, quick, powerful, yet graceful. The PDS team is led by Cadet Inspector MPCC Gabriel Tan Ti Hao from Swiss Cottage Secondary School, Cadet Inspector MPCC Ng Ki Luen, and Probationary Cadet Inspector MPCC Elise Lim Kia Swan, both from Greenwich Secondary School. They have tirelessly choreographed this unique performance for us. The squad comprises two groups. One, a team made up of officers and cadet inspectors, and another, a team made up of cadets from Nanyang Girls High School. Without further ado, please sit back and enjoy the performance. One man on an island, one drop in the sea. All it takes to set a wave in motion Is a single word in action A hope that we can be A change that we've been longing to see For our home, our land, our family It's all within reach see this
It's the voices of our friends, come whatever, on the road ahead, we did it before, and we'll do it again, see the silence. It is eye-opening to see how normal drills can be put together to become an elegantly choreographed piece. Indeed, Ms. Wee. This shows how innovative we are as an organisation. Speaking of elegance, our cadets have put in great effort in preparing a dance to a familiar National Day song titled, Reach Out for the Skies. This dance is choreographed by Ng Tian Rei, and it expresses our MPCC vision to aspire to be the best youth organisation in Singapore. Take it away, dancers. That was an energetic performance by our talented NPCC members. Both performances illustrate the journey we have been through thus far. There is certainly light at the end of the tunnel as we move forward in unity as one NPCC. During these uncertain times, units have been hard at work to continue the good work of the Corps. 
by being adaptable, tweaking our MPCC programs to ensure the continuity of cadets' learning experiences. This runs parallel to the parades team, redefining our roles and reshaping our core. Let us now watch a video montage highlighting the hopes and dreams of our officers, youth volunteers and cadets for MPCC. We love NPCC. We hope that NPCC can continue being a nurturing organization for youth in Singapore. Happy NPCC Day!
Stay safe and healthy. Happy happy CC day. And for even more years to come, happy NBCC Day! With that, we have come to the end of the second edition of the virtual National Police Cadet Corps Annual Parade 2022. It is so heartening to see our members coming as one to put together this fantastic parade. On behalf of everyone in MPCC, we wish all a happy 63rd MPCC Day. Until next year, goodbye! goodbye.